Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to creating KMZ files in Google Earth for our Earthquake and Volcano project. Now the skills that I'm going to show you here you can use in any KMZ file. It doesn't have to be just for our Earthquake project. If you want to make one for your favorite football stadiums, baseball stadiums, places your family's gone on vacation, you can do this at home, at school, wherever, as long as you have Google Earth. It's a really cool thing to do. So in order to get started here, the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go down to your Start menu, and you want to click on All Programs, find Google Earth, and then open up Google Earth. Now, once Google Earth loads, you want to scroll down on the left side here to Layers. This is step two on the document, by the way. You want to make sure the terrain box is checked. As long as that box is checked, you'll have three-dimensional terrain there in Google Earth. Also, uh, newer versions don't have this box. If you don't have that box, don't worry about it. It means it's automatically on three-dimensional terrain. You can check any of these other ones that you would like also, but I will tell you the more that you check, the more cluttered it's going to be and the harder things are going to be to find. Um, I suggest only checking 3D buildings and terrain. All right? So that's step two. Let's go to step three in the document, and that is going to be to create our folder that we're going to save our tour in. So the first thing you want to do is on the left side here, you want to find where it says Places. And you want to right-click on My Places, and you want to add a folder. And in the folder, you want to call it Volcano and Earthquake Tour. That's all you have to do. Type that in there, make sure everything's spelled correctly, and hit OK. And you'll notice now that when you um, look in your Places folder, you will see Volcano and Earthquake Tour. Okay, once we have our folder for Volcano and Earthquake Tour, we can now go to our first stop. And our first stop of our project is going to be our middle school. So what you want to do is go up here to the Search or Fly To box, and you want to type in the address to our middle school, which is 801 Wood Street, Harrisburg, PA, 17109. And that's in step five of our document. Uh, then once you do, you can hit the Enter key, or you can click the magnifying glass here. And what's going to happen is Google Earth is now going to fly straight to our middle school. And when it gets there, you're going to notice it's very, very zoomed out and high up. Okay, You can use these controls over here on the side to zoom in. Now, your controls might look a little different than mine because I have a newer version of Google Earth here on my computer, but they work the same way. Sliders will move your view around, and you can go in and out using the mouse wheel, or if you're on a laptop, you'll have to use the sliders over here. So I'm going to zoom in on our school. You can also tilt the angle of our school that you want to look at it. Now, ours, uh, it's not 3D mapped, our, our building. So if you tilt it, it's not going to be in 3D. But I like this view right here. Okay, so now once I have this three-dimensional, or this side view of our school, I want to make sure that I have Volcano and Earthquake Tour highlighted, my folder over here. And then I want to click on this yellow push pin, or thumbtack up here, to create what's called a place mark. First thing I want to do is I want to title our place mark. Well, what are we looking at here? We are looking at Susquehanna Township Middle School. Okay, now down here in the description box, you want to give a description of our school. This is where we will begin our world tour. Come on along. You can type in there whatever you want. We have the best middle school ever, whatever. Now, these other tabs here, you're also going to be using. Uh, style and color. This will change this word over here, the color of it, the style. You can play with that if you want to. You don't have to. The most important tab is this view one. You want to snap current view right here. What you're doing there is you're telling Google Earth that when it flies to Susquehanna Township Middle School, this is the view that you want it to see. Okay? So click Snapshot of Current View, and then this Altitude button over here, you can actually change how high your push pin is off the ground. I want to change mine relative to the ground. I'm going to move it up a little bit, and then I'm going to hit Extend to Ground, and you're going to see that I now have a little line that goes from my push pin right down to the school. And if you don't want it that high, you can use the slider to adjust it however high you want. All right, I like it right about there. Also. This little button here next to the title, you can change the icon. Instead of having a push pin, I want to use this green building. You can use whatever one you want. doesn't matter. Green building for a school with a little flag on top of it. Now that I have everything the way that I want to, I'm now going to click OK. 
you have now just created your first place mark in Google Earth. And we just went through steps 1 through 11, I'm sorry, through 12 in our document. If you don't like the way your view is and you want to change it, very easy. Find your place mark over here in the places part, right click on it, go down to properties, and it'll bring these boxes back up. You can change anything you want to in there. Okay? Now, now you're ready to create your second place mark. This is where we're going to start our tour. I'm going to go to my first volcano, which is Mount St. Helens. You are going to go to your first volcano that you did research on. Same exact process. Up here in the search box, you type in the location of your volcano. I'm just going to call it Mount St. Helens, because I know Google Earth recognizes this. And Google Earth is now going to fly me directly over to Mount St. Helens. But you'll see that the view is not what I want. It's just a top view of Mount St. Helens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my sliders and I'm going to change my view of Mount St. Helens. I want to have it zoomed in. I want to have it three-dimensional so I can see the north face of Mount St. Helens where it blew off its top. Okay, so I'm going to use my sliders or my mouse wheel if I'm lucky enough to have one to adjust it. I like this view right about here. So here's what I do. Same exact thing as before. Make sure that something underneath Volcano and Earthquake Tour is clicked on in blue. I want to add a place mark. All right. I'm going to call this one Mount St. Helens. I don't want a greenhouse anymore. I want a volcano. So I'm going to make it a volcano. Description. Mount St. Helens is a composite volcano. It had sat dormant for hundreds of years. On May 18th, 1980, everything changed. Now, you're going to put in this box your research that you did on your first volcano. Okay? So, I don't want to change the style or color of anything. This is fine with me the way I have it. My view, I want to snapshot my current view. Again, I'm going to change my altitude of my um, icon. Okay, I'm going to move it up a little bit. I'm going to zoom in so I can see this here. Zoom in. I want to move it up. And I want to extend it to the ground. Okay? Now when I have it the way I want it, I click OK. Now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take a look here at what I did. All right. For some reason, it didn't want to do what I wanted it to do before. So I'm going to change my view just a little bit. I want it to be a little bit bigger. So I, I've changed it now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on Mount St. Helens, go back to my properties. I want to view it the way I have it now, so I want to snapshot the current view. And I'm going to click OK. Now I've created the first two steps of my tour. But I want to save it so I don't lose my work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to step 15 on my document. I'm going to right click on my folder, Volcano and Earthquake Tour. I'm going to go down to Save Place As. I'm going to make sure I click on My Documents. I'm going to find the folder that I want to save it in. For me, it's going to be my earthquake folder. For you, it might be something different. And then what I'm going to do is make sure this says KMZ down here, give it a name, and I'm going to hit Save. Now, let's see how well I just did. I'm going to reset Google Earth. I'm just going to type in Earth, get it back to its regular positions that it usually goes into. All right, I'm going to zoom out on the Earth. Kind of reset everybody here. Now, you can see on the Earth that my two place marks are here. I'm going to hit Volcano and Earthquake Tour, and there's a little play button right here. I'm going to play it. Here goes our tour that we just created. We're going to zoom right into where we told it to. Now I'm going to hit pause here because I want to make sure my text shows up. I'm going to click on this, and look, this is where we'll begin our tour. That's what I typed in there. That's where your information is going to be that you present to us. You can exit out and continue our tour. And what's going to happen now is it's going to jump to the next piece of our tour, which is going to be Mount St. Helens. 
I'm not doing anything here. This is working by itself because I set up this tour, and this is what you're going to do for your project. Mount St. Helens. I'm going to pause it again. Click on Mount St. Helens. There's my information that I put in there. I now have a nice KMZ file to share with people. Next time you come to class, here's how you can open it up. All you need to do is you need to go to your documents. You need to find the folder that you saved it in. I'm going to go to my science folder here. I'm going to go to my earthquake folder. I'm going to find my KMZ file, which is down here, Volcano and Earthquake KMZ. I double click it. And once Google Earth opens, then you will be able to see your KMZ tour, and all you have to do is hit play.